Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be reacting to the new Pete and Baz song, but it's not actually Pete and Baz's song, they're just features on it, which is potentially the first time that's ever happened on a reaction. I think most of the times it's been, or if not every time, it's been a Pete and Baz track with other people featured. So it's going to be Steps, an artist I am not familiar with at all, featuring Pete and Baz, the legends, Grandpa, which obviously fits their aesthetic. Not necessarily the music that they make, though. Um, we know that Pete and Baz are some, some pretty nutty lyricists and artists in their own right, and that they're, they're definitely books that you don't judge by the cover. Um, I think that's probably the, the biggest lesson that YouTube Journeys taught me, is that you never judge a book by its cover. I don't know too much about Steps, and this one, 12 days ago, doesn't seem to be the... Uh, most viewed song that they've ever put out, but I'm down to hear what it's about. Uh, no doubt that they're on crud, but again, it's 2 minutes 49. They need to do longer songs, man. That's the one critique about Pete and Baz. They need to do longer songs. It feels like a hot minute since I've done Pete and Baz. I don't know when the last video I would have done was, but um, it might have been a, a month ago. It might have been gangster shit, actually. Or was it burning? Oh, I forget. I forget. I forget my own fucking content. Let me have a look. Yeah, burning. Yeah, about a month ago. So yeah, it's been a while. It's been a hot minute um, for me doing Pete and Baz. It was consistent before, but now we're branching out into non-rap artists. It's, you know, taking longer to get around to people's requests. So I appreciate everyone for being patient with me. Uh, yeah, we're going to jump into this one without any further ado. Please leave a like if you enjoy. Please subscribe for more. Comment down below anything else you would like to see from myself. And like I say, without any further ado, let's go. Scratch mixed in. Baz... Baz is rocking the bald mullet. It's a look that um, not many can pull off, but Baz, Baz seems to, to rock it well. It's a bit like a lion's mane, but, you know, he's, he's has a run-in with a, a fire <laughs> and he's, he's burnt everything on top. But it's interesting. It's an interesting look. I've never seen, you know, they say that a, a, a mullet is like business in the front and part in the back, but... I don't really know what you would call that one. I don't know what you'd say. There's not much at the front at all. So it's just all party at the back. <laughs> Which kind of, I guess that kind of describes uh, Baz's vibe, really. What was it really Kai Sinat who made Riz super popular? Like it's it's grown so massive so quickly. A year or two ago nobody was saying Riz at all. Big ups to him, man, because that is that's influence. If it's really grown because he started saying the word Riz or, you know, AMP and those lot in general. That's that's crazy. Like everyone always thought in school about how you invented a word. I think ours was, um, we invented, my friend said he invented the word skillage, which, um, well, he said it was an African gum disease and we misheard African bum disease, which obviously is hilarious. And uh, so we adopted it, but I, I believe that is actually a word, skillage. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's weird. I'll, I'll do some research. Maybe I'll drop a picture. Not if it's if it's a bum disease, probably not. Oh god, is this messing with my? Am I becoming the background? I don't know. Oh, oh, the focus is awful. Uh oh. Uh oh, the focus is not good. Right, I've switched back to manual focus, so that should fucking fix everything. <laughs> Look, I ain't no 
Dutch rap fam, oh geez, oh damn, oh man Take me in the same way with a chain, you're listening Ain't got wrist for your good thinning Boom, swigging on a glass of the old My whiskey puffing like a chimney Yeah, fingers in the air, bang bang Can I get two shots of the old Sinclair? Running up numbers, souped up whips To the vents in the bumpers Two C's in the jumper, spend one night With a bird and a dip and pop Ever ran on my phone like brr, oi, Tell her I'm a B1 Pete, Pete, you can't come through with that. The ad lib as well. The I can't, I can't do that. I'll never try and do that again. Baz, Baz as well, man. I mean, Steps, Steps came in. He set the precedent. He was fucking sick. And then Pete followed it. Uh, sorry, Baz Canal. I'm going back to my old. Which one's Pete? And which one's Baz? <laughs> uh, Baz followed it, and he was equally hard as he always is, his, his flow is nutty, the way he can put words together and just his cadence on a track is crazy to me, and then Pete, who has been growing on me ever since I started reacting to the uh, the pair, he came in with a completely sort of just a little juxtaposing sound that also blended perfectly into the rest of the track, it's great, these two, these two never fail to amaze me, and Steps for a first time showing is doing really well. My whiskey puffing like a chimney. Yeah, fingers in the air, bang bang. Can I get two shots of the old Sinclair? Running up numbers, souped up whips to the vents in the bumpers. Two C's in the jump, I spend one night with a bird and a dip some pop. Ever ringing on my phone like brr, oi. Tell her I'm a B1 set, young gunner, I'm a one nana. Foul, elbow to the man, face up, bow. Let me get a drink right now. Can I get a couple more rounds of the brandish liquor? Serve that quicker before I lift up my shirt and reveal this spin up. Like, pow! I ain't no old man, but I mean. I mean no offence to you, Pete, but I'm not interested in seeing what's underneath the shirt, man. Save that for your wife or whoever, your significant other. <clears throat> I'm having voice cracks galore in this. Let me get a drink right now. Can I get a couple more rounds of the brandish liquor? Serve that quicker before I lift up my shirt and reveal this spinner like pow. I ain't no old man, but I mean more than a grand perch. If I get scared, bro, then I ring till he broke black. That's why I should pattern down. I've been on my lonely, gonna get a hunchback fam. Oh geez, oh damn, oh man. Take me in the same way with a chain door. Listening ain't got risk for your good thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a bag full of weed? <laughs> I think it's just, I think it might be just grass that he's mown. I mean, still a big bag full of grass. I guess he uh, he blew his budget on getting Pete and Baz to feature. He couldn't uh, he couldn't go for better prosthetics. <laughs> He's not going to win any uh, Oscars for that one. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, Pete, what are you doing, lad? <laughs> you know, uh, you know, cash gets handled by many different people. <laughs> I ain't no old man, but That's I mean, more than a grand If I get scared, bro, then I ring Killy, bro, bro. That's why I should pattern down. I've been on my lonely, he's gonna get a hunchback, fam. Oh, jeez. Look at him, man. He's got it in his fucking mouth like a dog with a newspaper. Come on, bro. No, it's that's rank. That is rank. You know how many people have touched that? Take me in the same way with a tune you're listening. Ain't got risk for your good thinning. Eh, bang him in the snare, bang him in the kidney, bang him in the man, bang him in the back of the dome with a two by four and a two front teeth on the man came out. Big bad wolf with a taste for the violence, brand new cook with a minimal mileage, tripping and shining, slipping and sliding, cook with a big luck bell. Oh, Baz is too cold, man. He's too cold. Bang him in the snare, bang him in the kidney, bang him in the man, bang 
him in the back of the dome with a two by four and a two front teeth on the man came out. Ooh, ooh, big bad wolf for the taste for the violence. Brand new cook with a minimal mileage, tripping and shining, slipping and sliding, cook with a big like bell. Click, clack, banging on the mash while I whip round down. I'm skidding in a belly. You don't wanna get run down by the big bad geezers. Jesus, Jesus. batter him down, big batter him ram, just batter and scram and I yank his jaws. Big balls, Pete, I'm about it. Telephone call got wrapped and pulled. Look, I ain't no old man, but I mean more than a grand touch. If I get skipped, bruh, then I ring till he bruh, bruh. That's why I shoot pan down. I've been on my lonely, gonna get a hunchback, fam. Oh, jeez, oh, damn, oh, man. Take me in the same way with a chain, yo, listening. Ain't got rings for your glistening. I ain't no old man, but I mean more than a grand touch. If I get skipped, bruh, then I ring till he bruh, bruh. That's why I shoot pan down. I've been on my lonely, gonna get a hunchback, fam. Oh, jeez, oh, damn, oh, man. Take me in the same way with a chain, yo, listening. Ain't got rings for your glistening. Fucking hell. Man. It's too short. That song's too short, especially with all the choruses that we had. That's a shame, man. That's a shame. I would have loved to have uh, heard a couple more extended verses from Pete and Baz and even Steps. Steps deserve to have more on there. Felt like every, like, maybe eight bars, 16 bars, perhaps, he was going onto the, the hook. And it, it was... An, great hook don't get me wrong it's just i heard it maybe like five six seven eight times during the song i don't know i would have loved to have uh, heard him just rap a verse of each a bit longer especially because the beat as well isn't one that you would expect to have with pete and baz i've never heard that sort of i think that was a grime beat to be honest um i, th I think at least but that's not a, a beat that I would associate with Pete and Baz. Any sort of Pete and Baz track I've heard more sort of drillish. I mean, they've got many different songs with many different styles and, and you know, well, styles. For the most part, it's it's sort of gangster drill kind of influence. But, um, yeah, the, the beats, I don't think I've ever heard something with quite so many synths in it. Um, you know, this one had a lot of bounce and it was uh, a, a different vibe from, from the guys, but they killed it as they always do. Man, I think before when it first started, I think it was Baz by quite a, a fair margin that I preferred. And then the more I've listened and the more I've heard Pete and especially going back to their older tracks and listening to the newer tracks, I've grown a, a new appreciation for Pete and his skill and... Um, I would say that the two were pretty much on par for one another and it differs from song to song. Sometimes one person carries more than the other song depending on who has a harder verse or who has more presence on a track. But, you know, Pete definitely has uh, improved massively and the cadence that he has, the flows, just the way that he puts things together and he, he really just makes it uh, a fun time with his energy that he brings. I mean, Baz, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get that sort of laid back. Whereas Baz, you don't really... Uh, Baz, fuck me, I'm doing it again. Whereas Pete, you don't really know what Pete's going to come with. Uh, Pete's a bit of a wild card, but that's what makes him so fun and so unique, man. Especially, you know, of, of course, their age as well. But, you know, you know what I mean? They're, they're also very talented in their own right and... Uh, yeah, this was, this was another sick one. Thank you to Guy for letting me know that it was out. Give me a heads up that it dropped because otherwise I don't think I would have checked it out. Uh, yeah, please leave a like if you enjoyed. Please subscribe for more. Comment down below anything else you'd like to see from me, whether from Pete and Baz, Steps, anybody. I'm, I'm open to anything at the moment. So yeah, just let me know. And uh, until next time, everyone, I will see you later.